Hey, Bluegrass, can we go thrift shopping? Hello, YouTube world. My name is Anthony Long. Welcome back to the Bluegrass Picker Channel. You came back? I'm glad you did. What's on on eBay? <clears throat> um, let's go with this one first. This is a Wii bundle. One nunchuck. One white regular motion plus. Two games. One's like Disney Universe. And the other one's a Toy Story Mania. With the box and the manual. Just a white one with the AV cables, power cord, and the sensor. Um, I actually had this for promoted. I don't usually do a lot of promotion. But this is kind of a higher, there's a lot of people in this category, especially right now. When people found out about it, it drove the prices down real quick. Um, and this only went for $49.95, but, you know, they're kind of going for lower than that. So I was glad to get that money and get it out get that money back. About, I probably spent about 40 bucks on it. So I'm kind of breaking even. But they were so high for a while, I was getting 80 bucks for those. Just couldn't get them out fast enough before it drove it down. This is a cool piece, I think. The thumbnail. Pirates of the Caribbean. No, Pirates um, game. It's a terrible game. I had never played it. At least I had, you know, maybe we rented it once back in the day. That's what we used to do. We, we couldn't afford to buy them, but you'd rent them. And um, it still had the, the box, which is kind of rare. And I had it for really high price because I started getting confident and realizing you just can't find these and so 75 bucks for the NES game and um, 1991 and um, I played it it's I don't even know why it's just someone that wants to have it in their collectibles you know and um, anyway it's a good one and this is a Albert Pujols, um, 2001 Upper Deck. I can't read it. Pretty sure, yeah, pretty sure it is. It's his rookie year. Let me make sure. Yeah, 2001 Upper Deck, his rookie year. It's a piece of a bat in there. But I don't think it's a piece of his bat. It's just kind of, I'm pretty sure it's... No, it is game used bat, and they actually put a Dominican Republic uh, symbol in there. Anyway, um, this went for sixty nine ninety five. I was picking these up for about twenty to thirty bucks back in ten years ago, fifteen years ago. Um, so good sale. Um, and when baseball is not in, not going on, and that person's still selling good, it kind of tells you that uh, he's a People are buy, starting to buy up his cards because they know he's getting ready to retire. He's going to be a Hall of Famer. He's got, I mean, past Willie Mays on the home run list. And he has more doubles than any of those guys on the home run list. So he's pretty, very unique. And only one person has more RBIs than him, and that's Hank Aaron. And Hank Aaron plays, he's played three more years than Poole. So, um, yeah. A lot of his stuff sales, and I've got quite a few things up. But these are three things that sold on eBay yesterday. Good sales, good higher, you know, each thing being a higher um, price, what do you call it? Um, then, you know, I some of them are eight to 15 bucks, but those are gonna sell quicker a lot of times. So it's nice to have three big sales all in one day. But uh, grind on, friends. Why'd you come back again? I'm glad you did. Anyway, what's sold on eBay? First thing that sold was this Mike Schmidt. He's a Hall of Famer, 500 home runs, third baseman for the Phillies. Piece of his jersey, it's actually dirty. So it's a game used jersey, which is kind of cool. But it's not numbered because back, kind of back, when was this, 03? Yeah, 2003. They didn't really number him quite as much. It was just a relic jersey. And, um, but it's a Hall of Famer, so I knew it would sell. I got it for, I can't remember now, but I got it in a lot a long time ago for next to nothing. But $18.95, I had it for $19.95, sent on offers for $18.95. So um, whenever baseball gets done, that's when I send out some offers. Same thing with this one. 
Albert Pujols, uh, rookie Bowman. I've sold quite a few of these recently, and you can see this one is not centered. And so it was one to sell. I actually had this for $79.95 when I raised it to $89.95 and then put it promoted listings to see if it would change anything. And it sold within four days, I think. So that was a good sale. And like I said, baseball's over, so I tend to put stuff on sale when baseball's over because people won't be thinking about baseball till literally next February. So unless someone does something dumb or good, which... No one does anything good anymore. Uh, this was a Grand Theft Auto from Xbox, the original. Um, Ve Vice City. And it has like a poster with it even. Um, got the manual, tested it. It's all good. Um, I got this in a lot. I think it was um, Storage Legends. Sorry, if you hear background noise, that's Cora chewing on plastic. It's pretty loud, isn't it? Anyway, uh, $14.95. Plus shipping on top. Um, it was a good one. Risque. Where's my finger? Oh, shit. Um, but that's a good sale because I remember I bought the lot for like 25 or 30 bucks shipped to me. And there's eight other games in there. So I already got half my money back almost. So it was three good sales in one day. But uh, you came back? What sold on eBay? This was a PC game. I can't remember what I paid for it. I usually only pay a dollar or less for any game. But since it was a PC game, it must have been a throw-in or something. Because I didn't, I wouldn't want to even mess with it. So it was probably in a big lot I got. But it sold for $9.95. Uh, plus shipping on top. This is a Albert Pujols. Rookie. Upper deck. The Bowman one is worth a lot more money. Um clear one too they mass produce that one still but it's still a good card it's gonna be a hall of famer um i tried something a little different i have a few of these so i actually put this one on auction and i did a 10-day auction thursday through sunday but i messed up and i don't know what i did and set it for noon and i, I listed at noon and i didn't put wait to till seven or eight to list it, to have it end on there. I, for, I hadn't been done an auction so long, I forgot all about that. So I had it at a bad time, and I could have unlisted it and done it again, but I just left it and figured, well, we'll see. But this went for $43.95, which I've sold this one for $69 before, so someone got a good deal, but I still only paid like 30 bucks for it. Um, but sometimes I like to do that because I sell a lot more hour pool holes. Um, I've got... 50 more listings of Albert Pujols. And so it brings people there. And so, you know, it may be a bad, I could have got 20 more bucks, but it also might sell more later on. Maybe someone put me as, because you know, people will follow your channel, follow your store because uh, if you if I list something that's they like. Um, but uh, these are just two things that sold uh, last night. Um, but uh, grind on, friends. Bye. Bye from Bluegrass Pickers. <laughs> Stay tuned.